looks like it's still producing. Hello guys and welcome back to the third episode of Satisfactory with me Spacefish. Now, um, as I promised last episode, what we're gonna take care of more, this one, is gonna be starting our automatization. So, um, without any, well, without any uh, big introduction, let's just start going right away on whoa, building constructors, which we apparently need three reinforced iron plates for. So it's a good thing that I'm starting out here with the iron cause those constructors will what was that? Those constructors will actually be um, producing iron rods and screws for us which is just what we need for these plates and my game is seemingly not very happy right now because it's laying quite a bit so let's get going by getting ourselves um was it two i think it was two right just double checking three three okay so um six iron blades is what we are going to need to actually start out with this that means we will need a good bunch of iron rod smokes definitely and we will need a good bunch of iron plates as well we're just going to take a few minutes, but yeah, like all this stuff, like just automating this stuff is going to be the dream. Um, I don't think we have cargo containers just yet, until uh, unless I skip them somewhere accidentally, so we are uh, definitely going to, well, like, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to these, but um, without these, we're still going to have to somewhat run back and forth and take stuff out of the constructors, but... I am going to at least have something that's going to automatically produce things for me, which is great. So as you can see right here, it already detects that it's uh, behind the smelter and that we could... Uh, where is it? There. Um, build a nice um, production line right there. Now I want to actually center that somewhat. Build a constructor right here. And now I know, after the lag is finished, why I needed space in between these. Awesome. Oh no, actually, that fits, doesn't it? Okay. I thought I just uh, massively messed up that construction, but apparently it fits. I'm not sure if it always used to be that way, that you could just fit two constructors next to each other. Maybe that's something that would change. Maybe I just don't quite remember the way that it used to be, but what you can finally do right here now is get some conveyor belts going between these and then we can configure these um, so one of them is going to be iron plates and one of them is going to be iron rods I think this one will do iron rods, this one will do iron plates and we already have some iron ingots in there apparently not in there though so before I actually uh, throw some more iron ingots at it let's first uh, I'm gonna actually okay I don't have any any wires left. Do I have copper ingots left? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, then I don't need to run it all the way over there. So, instead, I don't need copper ingots, I need wires. Focus, please. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Wires. So, well, let's give this another try. Um, I mean, I could just place it here, I guess. I don't need to just place the Approaching others clearing so I don't need to just place the pole on the ground, that's a bit nicer, and I don't need to take it down again once I uh, plunk stuff down on the concrete. Uh, once I plunk more concrete down, rather. So this is all connected up. Now we're gonna need more iron ingots for the smelter so that I can actually deliver iron ore to the constructor. Here goes all the iron ore again. I think I actually had some more in my inventory there, uh, there but alright, that's fine. And now, iron ore for you, and iron ore for you. And why do I keep running right now? And where did my escape button go? Here we go. I, Hello? There we go. Okay, cool. 
not going to keep running anymore. So, yeah, as you guys can see, this constructor is going to get his iron ingots, and he is going to build iron rods. Which are just going to stack in here right now, for the time being, because, uh, firstly, we don't have any more, uh, anything more to put, uh, foundations down, like, no more concrete, and secondly, let me just double check, but I don't think logistics, yeah, we don't have any storage containers yet either, so this is going to be pretty much that. Now, before I actually take care of building a constructor over at where our copper is being mined, I am going to pick up more limestone again, because for the time being, that's going to be our way of expansion until we actually get automated miners. Which is hopefully going to happen very soon. I think it should be the next upgrade, but I'm actually not quite sure. I didn't uh, look at what we get through the update just now. So, um, could be that we have to do another one. Could be that we get that stuff now. Okay, so, over here. Um, I don't think I actually concreted all this stuff up. Like, it's pretty much fine, I guess. Because literally all that's going to be produced here anyways is going to be wires. And, um, well those wires, just like we just need them somewhere over there and that's going to be fine. So, um, I think we're literally just going gonna, gonna, to, I'm going to need more, uh, reinforced iron plates before I actually place uh, this stuff down. But, I think it's just going to be fine if we just place a constructor there and call it a day. Uh, we literally just need three reinforced iron plates and that's going to be it. And I just noticed that for the hub upgrade, we actually need more concrete too. So, just going to craft all this real quick to... Uh, nope, throw some in here. That's going to be the first part of the hub upgrade done. Now, um, I don't want to go down there. I want to go up to my constructors because I need some reinforced iron plates. And these constructors are already happily constructing all the stuff that I need for me. Now I'm going to throw some more iron ore in there so that these melting furnaces keep going. And then I am going to do reinforced iron plates. Which we are going to need some cru uh, screws for, not crews, but screws. Reinforce iron plates, and um, I think that's everything I need. Let me just double check for the wires and everything. So that's what I need. I don't need a power pole, I need a power line. I'm good for that. Cool. So, I'm going to run over there and get some wires produced. And I think we're already just going to put. Uh, I mean, that's kind of dependent on my inventory, which is here. We got a good bit of iron plates, so we could just put an outgoing conveyor there as well. That is just going to um, already kind of start pulling cables our way. So we don't um, need to run all the way. That would actually be pretty nice to have, I think. So we're going to start with production and put a constructor right here. Which I think we can literally just put that one here. Um, then we will need a conveyor belt, which I at least somewhat want to align properly. Well, somewhat, right? I said somewhat. Don't get me on that one. Now, power line, which is awesome. And then we're going to let this thing produce wires. And here we go. Here goes all the copper ingot, and here go all the wires. Now, this thing is going to pump out wires like. Yeah. It's just got to pump out wires like no tomorrow, just because it always produces three wires from one ingot. Which is pretty nice. Um, but... That... We're just going to kind of pull a conveyor belt line down here. It's probably, like, once all this stuff is going to be concreted up, I'm probably just going to adjust it. But for the time being... I just like to get some wires pulled down here. Like, as you can see, this at least brings it down here, and I can just pick it all off. Um, pick it all off the conveyor. Theoretically, yeah, just like that. And uh, be a happy man. So, yeah, uh, that's going to be the way that works for the time being. Now, um, I actually need 20 cable, so I should actually prob uh, probably continue just picking this stuff up from the 
conveyor belt if I actually manage to properly pick this up. And then, what's also always useful is to have copper ore in the copper smelter. Whoops. <laughs> okay, and that's our first power outage, so that's already uh, too much power usage right there. Which, uh, yeah, <laughs> got there pretty quickly, so yeah. Power circuit notification text block, interesting. Um, so, we're out of power right now, which is, uh, because we're missing the power to produce all the things at the same time, which is because we're just using one small bio, oh, seriously, which is because we're just using one small biomass generator right now. Um, I guess I could just turn this off real quick, is that enough? I think that should be enough to turn this back on. Cool. Not cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> good start. We're off to a good start. Let me see. Do I have everything that I need? I don't think I do. I've got 74 of those, 100 of these. I can do some iron plates myself, so I'm just going to shut you off too. And see if that's sufficient. I didn't run my fuel, did I? No, okay. Just never check. Don't. I, I, I actually thought that I'd just shot off again, but nope. We're good. For the time being, at least. So, I am going to throw 74 of these at it, 62 of that at it. Now, I'm going to need some cables. Which I can just make here really quickly. And I, I really hope that the next hub upgrade gets us a second generator, because otherwise, yeah. They're going to kind of keep going at this pace, which I would kind of prefer not having to go at this pace for much longer, but speeding production up a little bit. Let's see. So, iron plates done. Let's throw them in there. Uh, let's throw the cables in there, and then we're going to need one more iron rod. There we go. That's two. Awesome. So, let's upgrade. Sweet. So, what did we get? I well, we got the platform. You definitely. have unlocked hub feature, so additional oh, generator. Yes, nice. New buildings, which can be found okay, in the build awesome. menu. Ninth so objective: core hub up upgrade, here, you know? molecular analysis. Get ourselves Note, roasted a bit. To ensure you know? full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Okay. Right. So, um. We don't have uh, the means to research yet. That should be over here once you got the hub done, I think. Doesn't really look like much changed in here. Alright, but the biggest change, which is an awesome change, is we finally, finally, finally... Uh, I need to... wait. Did I...? Oh no! That's the wrong way to do it. That is the wrong way to do it. Um, The good thing is I finally, finally, finally... This is the right way to do it. Can't afford. Nice. Who doesn't love when that happens? Um. Wait. Uh. This thing should be gone. Am I now able to afford this? I don't think so. Right. Let me make some more cable real quick so everything gets back up and running. I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Um. But yeah, the biomass generator was very uh, necessary because it's going to produce additional power for us and we really want that to be able to power all our stuff because right now I can't power my... Oh, God. That thing kind of scared me right there. Um, but yeah, like right now I can't really power much of anything so that is an issue. I do... Oh, I'm able to make biomass from wood. Nice. So, I was gonna say I'm kind of running out of biomass, but now I'm not anymore. Because I can use my wood as well. Sweet. So we're gonna throw these back in there and throw some biomass into the generator. The other one is pretty empty as well, I think. I So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go search for more real quick, I think. Like, back here, we're pretty much gonna pick everything apart anyway, so I may as well Get everything I can, and um, 
put some more wires so this thing can still produce a little more. Uh, if I can pick this stuff up properly. And then once we're up here, I think I'm going to throw more copper or a smelter too. So it can continue pushing out some copper for us. And uh, yeah, as I said before, like these conveyors now, it's just like in Factoria, you get sped up a bit by them. Like the faster they are, the more you get sped up pretty much. Um, so, what was I going to do next? I need to actually mark my objective real quick. Oh, I've got a miner now. Sweet, I've got a miner mark one. That is awesome. So we can get started and actually properly... Uh, mining stuff. Now, as you can see, like, the objectives are actually starting to get bigger. Um, do I, that's the main question, do I know? I still don't have storage. Oh, I do have storage, never mind. Awesome. I haven't, I don't have to place it. Okay. Uh, let's get started by onlining these again. Then, I am going to have to throw more iron ore at those as well. What's... Oh. I was kind of wondering... All well, these little lights. All these were, but apparently that's just the ore. So, now, first things first, throw iron ore at the smelters. Very important. And I'm. Seriously? Oh. You know, it's always great when you forget to connect the second uh, biomass generator. Because, uh. Stuff wasn't set up properly. Okay, awesome. Now everything's working again, which is great. The question is going to be, what do I want to automate first for mining? I think whatever is the furthest away would make sense. So iron, I would probably not automate just yet. I would probably, however, automate uh, concrete. And... Um, I could... Well, if, if uh, we are going to have enough energy remaining, I'm going to automate... Um, I'm going to automate copper as well. And concrete should be the first priority, to be honest. So, that's what we're going to do here. Grab all of these. Um, totally not look at what you need for the mine. That's always a good idea. I don't think... Oh, I can actually pick that. Okay, so I'm going to be able to reuse my portable miners. I am going to need some iron rods, though, which I'm going to have to get from... Uh, up where we just came from, and I think I'm gonna just bring a whole load of uh, iron plates as well, because we're gonna need those to actually get a conveyor belt running up towards this place here. And I need to build a cargo container on top of that uh, to store all the wires that I just routed over. So I think that's the very first thing I'm gonna start with. Hello? Oh, I forgot I didn't. I forgot I don't get through here, so I I think we can just put the cargo container here for the time being. I'm gonna replace. No, I'm not gonna replace, but I'm kind of gonna break the stuff down and uh, place them somewhere else at some point anyway. So cargo container there. Conveyor belt. Oh God, why why did I? <sighs> okay, new try. How do I get stuff onto my bar? Ah. That's awesome. Um, probably going to do that to a few things real quick. Going to put that onto the six. And I'm going to... Seven, eight... Foundations. No. You're going to go to... You're going to go to nine. Yep, perfect. Got the conveyor belts in there. Got that in there. Okay, I think that's good for now. So, we're going to build a storage container, preferably somewhere where we can actually properly connect it. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Not perfect, but it looks better. Okay, cool. So, this is going to ensure that we actually have a good bunch of uh, wires lying around all the time. That's awesome. Um, now, I should... What I'm actually going to do as well, before I go down to um, automate my first resource mining operations, is I'm going to build cargo containers over here. So I can actually throw a bunch of iron ore in there beforehand. I'll not have to worry about it uh, being empty every five seconds, especially since I'm not looking to 
automate my iron production right now. I think that's going to be a good idea. And this is not. Uh, this is not perfect, and you guys know me. If something's not perfect, then uh, oh, gotta try again. That's good. Okay, I uh, need another one. And then, uh, probably connect it first. One. And the two. And then we're gonna just throw some iron ore in there. So, thanks for that. Thanks for that. And now, let's do that. I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna have a quick look in a second just how much power grid we actually have remaining. Uh, so I kind of get in. in yeah, indication, that's the word. Uh, an indication of uh, how much I can actually build. Mm, it's actually not too bad. We can build a whole lot, but... Oh yeah, I know why. It's probably not producing any more copper, is it? Mm, it looks like it's still producing. How? Did I just run... Oh. I just ran out of fuel, didn't I? Ah... <sighs> I'm gonna need more biomass. Like that would actually be helpful. Oh, did I? Did I? Oh, 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 god. Okay, I'm gonna need to go collect more biomass before I do anything else. Uh, this thing's got way more than enough, but this thing doesn't have anything, and it's still low on this. So yeah, let's go and collect biomass. Now, what I actually want to collect is these nuts as well. Sweet. Oh, berries, nuts, biomass, all the good stuff. Collecting it all. But yeah, we're gonna need a bunch more of this kind of stuff. And no lags, please. That would be awesome. Um, yeah. So let me just pick up as much of this as I can right now. Because this is the place where I'm going to be expanding my factory anyways, right? So it doesn't really matter much if I'm... Uh, I'm gonna deplete all the biomass in this place. Where did this pork like thingy go actually? That was supposed to be back there. Where I just ran through. I actually didn't get attacked by it. That is I mean I'm not complaining about it, it's very nice. Not to be attacked for once, you know. Um so I guess that was a good bunch, right? This should be sufficient for a while, hopefully. More like a small while rather than a big while, but it's at least something for a start. So, back over here. We. I'm gonna actually make some more biomass because if this thing goes offline every two seconds, that's not gonna be nice. So, biomass. Give me more. Give me tons. Yeah, this is gonna last a bit. That is nice. I am as wood. Can use that too. And uh, this is actually no, this is not separate by. Oh, is it 200 stack? Is, is it really stacks of 200? Okay. So there's more in that one than I thought there was. Now both are full. Awesome. Cool. So we've got that going for a while. Um. Wow. I'm really not producing enough, am I? Um, anyways, let me see if... I'm gonna pick some more up, I think. I'm gonna get all the iron rods out of here, and I'm gonna get all the iron plates out of here. And I should probably also... Oh yeah, what I'm actually really looking forward to is the... Oh, what's it called? Well, you guys will see in a bit. Um, I want to actually clean this stuff up a bit. Now, I could. I think I'm going to leave some space between this. So, do I have some concrete? I. Wow, I have. Okay. That's not really much. Um, but it's enough to place at least a cargo container for all the mined ore to go to. Did I should not take. Okay. I did actually not take full damage, which is. Uh, Interesting. So we're going to pick up this portable miner now. 
I am going to plunk down a Minor Mark 1. Um, the way I think I... I, I used the concrete... Oh. I used the concrete that I need for a Minor. I, I actually didn't know I needed that. Like I genuinely didn't remember. I just had them back in my mind. I need iron rods and iron plates. I got iron rods and iron plates and I don't have any concrete. Let's fix that real quick. Right. Now. What I am gonna need. Is a minor mark one. Um. I can probably just come here real quick and then. I've got no eyes. Gotta fix that as well. Uh, let me take all this. I'm gonna make myself some wires so I can actually build a power pool. So we're obviously gonna have a two hook up the miner. And um, yeah, let's craft like a whole bunch of these. I think we're gonna need a few. And now I'm gonna run back over to this power pool back there. Take this one with us. So, I'm gonna kind of just segment this a bit, right? So, I'm gonna put one here. Like somewhat so that it makes sense. Not just through, uh, through land or something like that. So, power lines here. Now, what we need is our miner. That is a constructor, though. That is a miner. So I think we're going to make it so it kind of comes out this way, and then we're going to go like up this way where I um, hopped up the last few times. Sweet. And connect. And there we go. So once this drill's in there, it's going to mine our limestone. It's going to be 30 a minute, which uh, it's going to be some. All right, it's not going to be a huge ton of stuff, but it's definitely going to be some. So yeah, we got our first bit of limestone coming out of here. Now, what we will actually need is a conveyor belt that brings all the stuff up to our factory. Which this is going to cost a bit, I think. Oh god, the floor is too steep. Whoa. Now I don't see anything anymore. Well, I don't really see much more now, but like... Okay. Try that. And, um. I guess that. I'm just kind of gonna build where I think we need to go now. Okay, so. Up here. Around here. And now. Just like all the way here. Pretty much straight. Then, oh, come on. Thanks. Now we're going to have to build a cargo container first real quick. That miner has got a lot of conveyor band to fill for the time being anyway, so that's going to be fine. I am going to turn this one that way. And this is right, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. So, here is finally our... Limestone, uh, limestone, limestone, limestone route. So, we've still got a good bit left of capacity. I I'm honestly wondering how much to break down. No, that stuff up there isn't producing anymore, is it? Okay, no, it isn't. That is probably why then. Let me get some more copper thrown at that um, thing real quick. Actually, do I still have enough? I think I actually still have enough to just build a miner up here. It's probably going to be the best idea anyways. Um, so, I don't think I actually kind of built this far apart enough. Um, gravel, pick up. Gravel, pick up. Now, I'm going to want a miner. Mark one up here as well. And what I would actually want... There's a cargo container in between, but that's kind of an issue now, apparently. 
Let's pull uh, this one down real quick. And just redo this. So, cargo container. Which is sort of going to be here. I think that's enough. And like, kind of, okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then, we are going to want a smelter. Which we're going to place sort of out here-ish. So we're going to move good for alignment as well. Maybe not. But we can always just destroy this, destroy that. And put down a new belt. Sweet. And then a new belt over here as well. Cool. So that's um, kind of what we want right here. He's got to produce copper ingot. And now we got to wire everything up again. So, you go there. Am I actually... No. Okay, I thought I was missing cable again. Sweet. So, we've got a copper miner as well now. And how's our power grid looking? Okay, I was going to say, how's that actually that low? But this is like... This is actually surprisingly low. Oh, right. My iron line went like... I think my iron line is missing iron again. That is probably why. So, um, we're getting our copper wires automatically produced now, which is awesome. Uh, let's just watch that happen real quick. Because I, I really love the visuals of how these factories work as well, right? Uh, you get the copper uh, ingot and then plonk and zap and plonk and zap and there goes the copper. It's actually pretty nice. So. All that copper is still flowing into there. Which that's going to fill up over time, but that's fine. Uh, we're eventually going to need a ton of this. And as you can see, like even right now, we don't have enough copper to even finish the next iron upgrade. So, um, yeah, we can definitely use more of that. Now, as I'm looking at my timer though, guys, this episode is, as always, way too long again already. So, um,. We finally got some sort of optimization going though, like I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, like, the copper chain for the time being is totally fully automated, we're not going to have to do anything about that. And um, I think we are going to work on uh, fully automating concrete next episode as well. We definitely have a good bit of limestone now, so that's awesome. And then we're going to further extend out that way, and then maybe if we have enough power we can add on iron to that as well for the time being though guys i hope you enjoyed this episode of satisfactory if you did please leave a like down below hit that subscribe button as always to stay uh, to get notified for more content and i hope to see you in the next episode ciao